Well, North Korea appears to be sending a message to the United States over the stalled diplomatic talks. And as we have seen before, the regime used a show of force to send that message. Now, North Korean state media released photos that show leader Kim Jong-un overseeing tests of ballistic weapons that were fired early Saturday. He has also told North Korea's frontline troops to be on high alert. Well, with that, let's bring in Dominic Velaitis as he's following the story for us today out of London. So, Dominic, at this point, what do we know about the North Korean tests? Well, Michael, as you mentioned, we had a little bit more information today from North Korean state media. The aim of yesterday's drills, it said, uh, was to test the performance and accuracy of large caliber, long range, multiple rocket launchers and tactical guided weapons. Now, some experts out there, Michael, think the latter, these tactical guided weapons, may have been short range ground to ground ballistic missiles capable uh, of reaching the entire Korean peninsula. We're also told that yesterday's tests were overseen by the North's leader, Kim Jong-un, something he, of course, has done many times before in the past. And there was the usual rhetoric as well. In its report, state media said Kim had stressed the need to defend the political sovereignty and economic self-sustenance of North Korea in the face of threat and invasion. Uh, this, as we know, Michael, is how the North does diplomacy from time to time. It uses weapons tests, nuclear and non-nuclear, as a form of messaging. Indeed, many analysts out there believe yesterday's drills were intended to increase pressure on the US to get nuclear talks back on track. You may remember they stalled after a second summit in Vietnam failed to produce a deal to end the North's nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. And there is a feeling out there, Michael, that perhaps uh, North Korea is growing a little impatient now that things have slowed somewhat, stalled even on the sanctions front. Michael. Mm -hmm. So as you say, we've seen this before, but what has been the reaction to all this from the United States? Well, it's interesting. We have heard from U.S. President Donald Trump, and he didn't appear too phased by these tests, probably because uh, they didn't violate North Korea's uh, promise, its pledge not to test long-range missiles like ICBMs. Now, as he often does, uh, Donald Trump took to Twitter to respond uh, to all this, and he said that he was still confident that Kim Jong-un would do the right thing and that a deal between North Korea and the United States was still possible. Others, though, uh, particularly in the region, have a bit of a different take on all this. South Korea, for example, has previously called on the North to stop escalating tensions on the peninsula with tests like these. And there were similar words, for example, uh, from Germany's foreign ministry, which in a statement described yesterday's drills as a provocation. Well, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is defending Donald Trump's latest tweet about Kim Jong-un. Now, the U.S. president wrote, quote, I am with him, referring to the North Korean leader. And this was after North Korea's projectile test. But Pompeo this morning told CBS's Face the Nation that the White House is committed to a diplomatic solution with North Korea.